New from Vinegar Syndrome is the 4K edition of The Werewolf vs Vampire Woman. Now this was a movie I'd never heard of, it came out in 1971 and it starts really strong. I was really hooked by the start of this one. We have um, a coroner and a policeman turning up in the middle of the night to do an autopsy because, just because um, they get there, they find the man on the table is um, dead shot twice in the heart with two silver bullets and there is this rumour that he was a werewolf who has been taught, uh, killed. Of course the medical practitioner just doesn't believe any of this and is teasing his friend that he does and insists on taking the silver bullets out of his heart at the start of this one because apparently if he's a werewolf, <laughs> as if there's such a thing, then he would come back to life. So our Coroner takes out the silver bullets and wouldn't you believe it, it's a werewolf and he comes back and murders these two people running off into the woods to kill another person and then disappearing. I'm going to take out those two silver bullets and I can assure you our Mr. Doninsky will be as dead as ever. <laughs> Oh, my God. It's a wonderful start. The effects are fantastic. I loved uh, the characters here because they were incredibly fun and silly. And when that werewolf makeup happens, it is really, really disgusting and effective. Then we kind of jump to two characters. We've got Elvira and uh, Genevieve who are travelling... Um, looking for the crypt of a supposed vampire woman uh, one day, uh, a woman who's got a legacy and they just want to see if they can find her tomb when they stumble across Waldemir Daninsky who is our werewolf person from the start of the movie and he kind of invites the girls to come and stay with them because there's no other amenities round about them and they kind of start a relationship uh, kind of between Elvira and Waldemir as they talk about the vampire woman. What is it you're looking for? We're looking for the tomb of a famous witch, a countess, expert in black magic, who could turn into a vampire. All these guys, through various machinations, end up finding the tomb of the vampire woman, removing the silver cross in her heart that keeps her dead, reanimating her and bringing her back to life. So we have these four people. We have Waldemir, who's the, the werewolf, but the girls don't know it. We've got the two girls who are kind of stuck in the middle. And we have one day, the vampire woman, who is after some fresh blood. <laughs> There's quite a lot going on in this one, and mostly it is pretty effective. There's a little bit after that um, really impressive start where it takes a little bit of a downturn, where it becomes a little bit more about the characters discovering their machinations, just sitting around talking. Uh, there's a wonderful scene uh, where one of the girls just thinks that something is suspicious about this guy because of the way he set the table correctly. Um, but the other one just retorts, it's fine, he only served his cold cuts. That's a man type of thing to do. Have you noticed how the table was set? Only a woman has that touch. Okay, so the dinner table was properly set. But all he served us was a dish of cold cuts, and that's a man's way of eating. It's just a wonderful little discussion that had me killing myself laughing. I just thought it was outrageous and incredibly fun. And I liked most of these characters here and the setting was pretty good. You get these dilapidated buildings, you have this kind of gothic feeling to the castle or, or stone building that they're in. Um, the vampire woman comes back and just kind of brightens up the screen. There's a kind of ethereal haunting nature about that character and how she affects and uh, catches other people to feed on. There are some good action set pieces but they come later on into the movie and it takes such a long time for our character of Waldemir to really admit who he is to the girls which we already know because we've seen him on the slab at the start of the movie. 
Uh, so it's got that kind of waiting for the, the characters to catch up to where we already are. But for the most part, I was really entertained by this one. I was surprised by how good it looked, possibly down to the 4K transfer, uh, the great cinematography. There's some wonderful, beautiful vistas just uh, waiting for haunting images to appear on it. I loved the kind of vampire, scary moments that came later on. Um, the, the almost slowed down playfulness of the vampires was really kind of icky. There's a moment where there's a nightmare sequence where one of our characters is attacked, stabbed in the jugular as the two vampires feed and drink from it. And it's beautiful, haunting, it's kind of surreal at the same time. It's, it's such a, a strange sequence, but I kind of like those moments in the film. <laughs> I found the werewolf versus vampire women surprisingly entertaining. I liked it more than I thought I was going to. Um, I did like Paul Nashley as Voldemir. I, I liked all the actors, to be honest, as the characters, and I found it to be rather fun. Like I said, maybe just after that great opening, you get a half hour where it's a little bit subdued, uh, a little bit talky, but then it starts to ramp back up again and becomes incredibly fun. I would love to know your opinion of the werewolf versus the vampire room, so please let me know in the comment box below. Now, this is my first Paul Nashie movie. Is there any others I should check out? Let me know. Give me some recommendations. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you are interested. Don't forget to hit this video with a like because it helps the channel. And in the comment box, description box below, there are links to the Patreon, membership program, manvfilm.com, all ways in which you can support me and I would greatly appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.